They are menacing to look at, but so important for our ecosystem. This time of year, great white sharks gather off our coast. Now the group O search is here too, hoping to solve a 2,000 mile puzzle along the East Coast about how these predators live. Only on WRAL, Cullen Browder shows us why the answer to that puzzle is good news for fishermen and your dinner table. Everything's a go, approximately eight to nine foot long. An eight to nine foot great white shark, helping provide the last piece of a 2,000 mile long puzzle. But we have seen sharks every day. Chris Fisher is the expedition leader for O-Search's latest project, this time right off the North Carolina coast. We're really trying to understand what are the animals doing while they're here. Yeah, we got three bows on. Out. The research group has already studied great whites in the northeast and south of here. Trying to solve the last bit of the puzzle for the white sharks that live off the east coast of the United States. This map shows the O-Search boat and the sharks that have already been tagged. The boat is here because this time of year, so are the sharks. Tag is in. Because it's getting too hot in the southern part of the range and it's too cold around Cape Hatteras, so they kind of get pinched up into this region. The group had luck early on, despite some bad weather. So far, we've sampled and captured, worked up and released four great white sharks, uh, ranging between, uh, you know, eight and a half and 13 and a half feet. These are the four, nine foot three, 425 pound Ann Bonnie, nine foot seven, 430 pound Ochre Coke, 10 foot three, 522 pound Penny, and 13 foot three, 1225 pound Umi. For Fisher, the bigger the better, since sharks need to be 20 years old before they mate. Those big sharks could provide a landmark discovery. This mating site, if we can locate it, will be the first mating site in the world ever identified for a white shark population. So it's hugely important for this region. Sorry, man, the ship's rolling around. Tap it. You get a good gill reflex like that? Why not? Shark's in good shape. Understanding how and where these predators move, eat, mate, and give birth can help the entire fish population. The description of the white shark is the balance keeper of that whole system. While the recent surge in shark sightings in the Cape Cod area sparked fear, Fisher says they're actually keeping the area's growing seal population from eating the catch of recreational fishermen. One white shark swimming up and down the beach in front of all those seals prevents all of those seals from going into the water to overforage. And with the overall fish population thriving compared to just a couple of decades ago, Fisher has a bold prediction about our coast. The gray steel, believe it or not, in its historic range is going to stretch all the way down here as far south as uh, Cape Hatteras. In the next 10 or 20 years, they're going to be back down here in the Carolinas. Those seals will likely bring more great white sharks to our shores. While that's something a lot of people don't want to hear, Fisher says the alternative won't make people happy either. These big sharks are actually the guardians of our fish stocks in a healthy, abundant system, which is what we're returning to. So if they're not thriving, we're not eating fish. Cullen Browder, WREL News. Some very interesting information there. Now, Fisher says most of the sharks they catch are 10 to 15 miles offshore. 